I don't know if you guys can tell, but I better pay attention before I just start talking. Take my 6,000 pound truck and smash it into a couple cars, that won't be no fun. Okay, like I was saying, I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair, the rain did something to my hair, screwed up my gel, and now my hair looks like crap in the back. If you guys can't see it, that's a good thing. If you can see it, I apologize. Blame it on the rain. I'm going to the parts store, getting myself a nice little bolt, not a BMW bolt. I did try to buy a BMW bolt, but I guess I bought the wrong one, even though I had the right part number. Maybe the guy had the wrong part number in the description, I don't know. So I had to start up my diesel truck, run like two miles away, all for one bolt. So a 65 cent bolt turned into probably a $6 bolt, because you gotta let the truck warm up, drive, drive back, cool down, you know, math, money, gas, or fuel, I mean, it's a diesel. But that's completely all right. I've been looking forward to some rain and some free water because as you guys know, I took my truck off-roading. And even after spending $12 at the car wash and three hours in my driveway, I still didn't get, yeah, all the mud off. So I'll take advantage of this water. Hopefully it gets in all the nooks and crannies and cleans it up better. The only thing is, is the outside looks amazing. The body looks amazing. It's just underneath is kind of dirty. I mean, look at her. Even with the paint missing, it still looks good. So we found the whole crew at the parts store. They're, they're getting some stuff. I'm getting some stuff. We're all happy people. But now we got to go back to work. We'll see you guys later. Have fun. That worked out perfect. I got to see my buddies. And to be honest, they were supposed to close like, uh, no, actually they're supposed to close in one minute. So we got out of there just in time. I'm doing the old switcheroo and my sister almost ruined it by coming in the driveway. You can see her right there. I got to put this bolt in, put the tire on, move this one out, and then put the Duramax where this one is. That way I can get this one in and out because it'll be ready to drive. I like that. I like saving money on diesel because I got a guesser. This $1 bolt won't work. The head's way too big. That's why I gotta have BMW bolts. Every time, every time. At least I know the thread pitch now, so now I can order one. So I guess we're gonna continue to rock five of the bolts instead of six of the bolts. You can see the hole. There's one of the bolts. I'm just gonna zip these bolts on with my impact. I'm not gonna torque or anything right now. I'm just strictly going to put the tire on so that I can switch out this and the Duramax. Hopefully they don't get electrocuted. Oh, even better. It's just dead. I guess she doesn't like water. I guess I revived it and I gave it CPR and then she worked. Get her down the road. Battery's dead. Battery's really dead. Thing's falling apart. What the hell am I doing then? The battery is not here. What am I even thinking right now? It's in the trunk, you guys. What am I thinking? All this rain is going to my head. Luckily, these guys sent this to me. It's top done. It's a, it's a battery pack thing. It's a jumper pack, I believe that's what they're called. So I'll get the little jumper cables out. We'll give this thing a go. Come on, baby. <laughs> I think I accidentally left it on. For all this time, so now it's dead. Of course, the only time I need it. Yep, my booster, my booster bag's dead. Son of a gun. Well, that ain't gonna do no good. It's my fault, not the battery pack. Now we got to do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Even the mud got in here. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. That was a lot of mud that day.
I'm sure you can tell it's running because the belt's squeaking. Now what would really suck is if I stalled it out. I'm glad to say that that fiasco is over. I'm going to put this on the charger now, so if I need it later, it'll be charged. And it'll actually be useful. Good girl. Play dead. Stay. Good girl. I want to plug my 2 amp charger onto that battery right now so that it kind of starts to charge. And hopefully by the time I drive it, it'll accumulate some sort of voltage. Because a dead battery is okay when you're on a hill with a standard transmission vehicle, but when you're on flat ground and you have no buddies to push you, a dead battery is a dead boat in the water. Speak if it's going to be long enough. Roof. <coughs> Prince is the expert. Prince is the expert. Okay, there's that. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Positive does make it, negative makes it. Perfect, Prince was right. Prince is the man. Prince is the dog. The cord was absolutely perfect length, and Prince was right. The only problem is, is that outlet, for some reason, isn't working. So now I gotta run a cord to a different outlet. And this outlet's outside. Wow, that pumpkin's looking gross. And grimy. You. Let's see if I can get electrocuted. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> Have a blessed day, YouTubers. Yep. Thanks. You too, Cole. There we go. Now we got something cooking. Woohoo! Now we can finally, hopefully, install the windshield wipers. If everything goes according to plan. Obviously, life has its own plan, and we have to listen to her because she makes the calls. I don't make the calls. You know that You know that tire rotation I got? Well, the new valves that they put on, one of them's leaking. I'm working on the BMW and then I hear something and I put my, my ear close to this. And you guys probably aren't gonna hear it. It's off, on, off, on. Yeah, that's leaking. False alarm, you guys. It wasn't just my tire. It's also my radiator. It's leaking up here. Not out of the screw hole that I put in it on accident, but it's also leaking right here. So I gotta tighten those two up. Let's try putting a new end on it. There is a crack in it. Maybe this will fix it. Here's the deal, you guys. I can't help but smile. I have a pocket full of quarters. We're going to go and get the tires pumped up at a place because I don't feel like running a hose and plus I want to do some tests with this car before I drive all the way to see my girlfriend. My girlfriend lives 50 minutes away. It looks like we have a small leak on her side and when I say small I mean very big and it looks like we got some leaks back there too. See it's all wet. Maybe this isn't a good car to take but you know what we're young we're reckless let's do this thing. I just gotta remember to take off my uh, charger before I take off, but I do want to see if it starts on its own. So far, so good. E-brake is on. Just gotta take our charger off. Hopefully we don't get electrocuted. As you can see, I got my tire pressure gauge. I want to make sure that the radiator isn't gonna overheat. That because it's raining, it's gonna be a little bit more, more moist in here. And I want to make sure that it's not going to get too foggy because I don't have motors that really turn or really spin. Windshield wipers do work. So if we can do this. Whoa, it sounds like they're actually working back there. 
Okay, we'll just turn them both on. And for some reason, the passenger at, is at 60 degrees while the driver is at 90 degrees. We do have heated seats. I turn mine on, we'll test that too. It, it's just a super testy day today. That that wasn't a sexual joke. That just came out weird. So let's make it happen, Captain. I hope I can start it if it stalls out or if I shut it off by accident. Well, the BMW made it to the air spot. That's good. So far, no issues. No issues at all. I remember when these things used to be like 50 cents, 75 cents, now they're a buck. Just barely reached. I got 45 PSI in each tire. Now we can rock and roll, see what the radiator does. Engine oil's good, brake fluid's good. And as long as we don't get a flat tire or anything stupid or overheat, then we should be locked and loaded to go. I put on quite a few miles on my journey. Now I need to go get gas. Everything worked perfectly. We're actually getting to the point where the defroster, I don't know if the motors even work, but something's working because it's not as foggy. Heated seats working. So I think she's ready for the trip. I honestly do. And I mean, every stop, I'm beating it. And she's still, she's tight. 